You greedy boys, 88 here is incredible, okay? Uh, this is something that you would expect a massive pullback very, very soon when you see numbers like this, okay? Uh, so Bitcoin looking incredibly bullish, incredibly greedy out here in the retail side. And the institution side, if we're looking on the right-hand side here of the screen here, right? Uh, just billions of dollars flowing in to Bitcoin right now, okay? So yes, we should be expecting a little bit of a pullback soon, but overall, uh, yeah. It's looking insanely bullish, insanely bullish here. Okay, we, we are getting that magnet towards the energy value for Bitcoin, which is at 97.5. Okay, uh, so we did say when we were down here at 60k that yes, when this starts pulling away, we do act as a magnet to Bitcoin and it, uh, it just blasted in that direction, right? Uh, we're also seeing on the Caprol macro index that it is just green, it's a green, um, massive flow towards the upside here as well. So that's fantastic. Uh, and that's pretty much going to be it for the on-chain side here for Bitcoin. But what we're going to do here is actually go to the chart. Here we go. Beautiful stuff. We did say uh, pretty much that we were looking to get to this yellow line. We hit this yellow line pretty much on the dot, as you can see here, and uh, had a bit of a pullback from that point. So that was roughly around 93.3. Okay, we did talk about this in the past two videos we put out about Bitcoin. Uh, and yes, now we are chilling down at 90K. Okay, uh, in terms of daily overall, and we will get to Sui in a minute. I do want to update you guys on this coin because it looks fantastic uh, for this run. But uh, yeah, if we are looking at this, uh, 81K is is where the 10 SMA is on the daily, okay? That's miles away, but we are super overextended. So if we are gonna get a massive dump here with all the greedy boys out here, I mean, we, we could be looking at like a 10% dump very, very easily, okay? Back down to this moving average uh, in which, uh, yeah, I would be expecting a bit of volatility around that area. Uh, but my plan here, guys, as you know, is uh, to essentially come back down, retest the 80s, okay? And then buy the dip on that bad boy, but not I'll just buy the dip. I'll be looking to run a grid bot in this area uh, just for a few weeks, something like this, and then expect potentially a blast off. Once we do break out of this range and we get comfortably into the late, well, the, the high 90s and the low 100s, right, uh, then uh, that's going to be something where I would be expecting us to blast off again. But really between 110 at, from this point on, right, between 110k and 80k is the range I'm looking at, okay, uh, and I'm expecting a pullback first more than anything, right? So we will keep an eye on this one, but that's pretty much Bitcoin in a nutshell here, as you can see, a little bit more consolidational, uh, but if we do break this high, there is a trade upwards here, okay? If we're looking at though I do just want to bring this up because this coin has been performing fantastically okay we did put a little bit of uh we did put some signals out on the patreon for this one uh, and apologies for no signals this week guys I've just been super super busy and uh honestly it's, it's been a pretty m easy market to trade right it's basically trading moving averages uh, and when we break highs you, you get a couple percent in there right and a few of you guys have been doing that anyway so congrats to you guys but um uh, what we will say here with sweet is uh yeah it's it's looking fantastic I mean just from where when it spawned here right we are at all-time highs for this coin. We can't say that about a lot of altcoins right now. A lot of altcoins are in, in the dumps, okay? But uh, Sui coin is looking fantastic, right? So if we are going to do some TA on Sui, because some of you guys requested this in the comments, and if you guys do want uh, altcoins, then be sure to let me know in the comments. That's what they're there for, and I'm here to help you guys at the end of the day, right? But if we're looking at Sui, yes, ginormous, ginormous channel structure from this last run up, okay? So it goes goes to say, I mean, I don't really need to say this, you can probably guess this, but uh, if we do break over this level, okay, we're talking roughly around, I would say, about $4.10, I would be expecting a measure move up to about $6.08, which is a monstrous move. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not even joking, so as a fly, just about to fly into my mouth. I had to act quickly there. Reactional trader. But we can see here that, uh, yeah, we do have about 65% towards the upside on this measure move. That could be fantastic. If you do want that to come into fruition, just like the video, it might increase the chances of it happening. It probably won't, but I mean, you could like the video anyway, all right? And what we are saying here in terms of entry on this thing, if you haven't entered already, I mean, you can enter this thing on the retest of about $2.00. At two dollars thirty six cents, okay, or wherever this twenty one EMA is, uh, and yes, we are in the bull market right now. If we get a major dump, we get a major dump, whatever. But I'll be looking to buy in this area, nonetheless. I mean, buy more anyway. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, if you're a bit more cautious, wait for a lower high to come in, okay. And then when we break this kind of diagonal trend line structure, that'll be a great entry point. We see this a lot in many bull markets. It's not something that's new to hear about. That right? We can bring up Bitcoin, okay. We can bring up Bitcoin in previous uh, bull runs here, and I'll just show you how it works. 
works, okay? So we can see here, right, when we do break, oh, I've just completely messed that up, there we go. Yeah, if we do break trend lines like so, like this, right, uh, then typically uh, you can expect the bull run to continue or the run to continue if it's an altcoin. Uh, so we'll be looking for something along the lines of this, right? So yeah, coming down, lower high, coming down a bit more, but when we break this trend line, that's the key area in which we do begin the next wave, right? So uh, with Sui, um, it's basically that. If we do something like this, then uh, yeah, we'll be looking to get over that trend line, right? So hopefully you got some value from that. But um, if it is more of a swanning event, okay, we're talking about a big dirty dump towards the downside for Sui, then uh, what we'll be looking for is to initially lose the 0.5 Fibonacci level, okay, if we can lose that, that's around $2, okay, then there will be a potential short down to about $1.46, or really wherever this uh, 200 EMA is on the daily, and that's at 160. Okay, I don't see us going much lower than that unless something catastrophic happens, like a biblical mistake happens uh, from uh, probably the Trump administration before they even get in. I mean, we'll see. We'll see what, what they put out, but if it is going to be a negative on the crypto side and we do get a massive crypto dump, then uh, yeah, all of these targets are possible. We could cut the bull run short, or we could delay the bull run for a little bit. And we got to be aware of uh, we got to be aware of scenarios like that, guys. Okay, because we are in a very shaky market right now. Despite Bitcoin absolutely banging it, we are in a very shaky market uh, in terms of just general uh, general <laughs> news and events that have come out politically and uh, wars and stuff that's happening. Right. So uh, overall, the general market. If we're looking at Bitcoin here, if it can break over about 95k, it's a fantastic sign. Okay, it's not like the dual end all we go up from there, but it's a fantastic sign if we can break over that. But more often than not, I'm looking for a market pullback here, uh, probably come down, test the, the mid to low 80s here, and then I look to potentially buy the dip. If we go down lower than that, then uh, I don't really see us going below 78. But if we do, then it's, it's not actually a, a good sign at all, okay? Because this volume weighted ATR band on the daily is something we need to stay above here for this run. I mean, sometimes we in, in the middle of runs, we can go below it for a little bit, uh, and that spells for a bit more sideways, but uh, if we're above it, it's usually just all green across the board, as you can see there, okay? Uh, as you can see, if we get rid of this, boom, okay, as you can see here, right, if we're above it, then uh, it's fantastic, right? If we're, if we're below it, yes, we can expect sideways or just uh, the end of the run, okay? So just keep an eye on that one because that's going to be important for the future, but overall, guys, market is looking fantastic. We're making some pretty decent calls here in terms of areas we should be respecting resistance or expecting resistance on, okay? And as of right now, we're still sticking to that same plan. We're still sticking for uh, looking for a big range to form around this area, a lot of volatility. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, once we do break out of that zone, bang in some more longs, okay? Easy, easy game, okay? Um, I do just want to show you this line again here, uh, this this yellow line before I do go. As you can see, this is the uh, the 20K run, I believe. Yeah, the 20K run. And yeah, you can see the data here around this yellow line, linear regressional growth curve, I will add, uh, is, uh, yeah, it, it does print out a bit of a range around this zone. And not all of the time, but most of the runs we've had uh, around this level have printed something like this, right? So we want to be expecting that the same uh, this time around, okay? So that's going to be it from me. Have a fantastic day. If you got the value from this video, Video. congratulations okay you're one of you're one of the best <laughs> okay what we will say is uh be sure to like the video and um yeah leave a comment let me know how you're doing any more altcoins whack it in the comments section and i will get those done for you all right have a great day cheers